Hey, I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok, and today I'm coming to you from Coffee Today in Happy Land Center. And I got a letter having to do with one of my least favorite subjects, and that is the air pollution problem in Thailand and really around the world. Uh, so let me just read this question real quick. It comes from Mr. Tom Berwick. Hi Scott, what are your views on air pollution in Thailand? It's the one thing stopping me from considering it as a place to move to. Can you recommend other places, any places for expats that have low air pollution? And that's a great question because it's gotten to the point now here in Bangkok where it's really starting to affect me. I can feel it, I can, I can taste the bad air. Uh, the air pollution is unhealthy almost every single day. And it's an irritant. It can be quite irritating. And the thing is, is there's not a whole lot of places in Thailand that the air pollution would be considered excellent. But let me get into it here, because there's a number of places that are quite good, and some of them are quite costly. Now, the better places in the world, the places in the world with the better air pollution, with the best air pollution tend to be in Australia, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Iceland, and Estonia, and also Zurich, Switzerland. All places that are a bit expensive, especially for the budget expat. Uh, some of the least polluted cities in Thailand are Hat Yai, Sadao, Trang, Kampang Pet, Songkla, Nakon Nayo. Back on Si Tamarat, Phuket sometimes, uh, Narati Wat, Bantalat Yai, and Kosamui. Now, Kosamui has a, or at least as of about a year and a half ago, had a very bad rubbish problem. It was an island full of rubbish. So I don't know that that makes it any better that it's not air pollution, but you would think that the air quality would be quite good in Kosamui because it's an island and the winds are blowing, you know, you would think that, but uh, the rubbish problem makes it something to consider. Now, uh, several places around the world with reasonable, moderately decent air quality include Ecuador, Portugal, Costa Rica, and even Belize. So these places are a little more cost effective for you know a guy looking to go and, and, and retire for maybe two three thousand dollars a month. Uh, but the bottom line is is that pollution is a big problem around the world, and if there's not uh, if the air pollution is minimal, then you got to look into whether there's rubbish everywhere, rubbish like as in Thailand, rubbish in the canals, rubbish in the ocean, just absolutely filthy water. So you need to look into that. Uh, the most polluted places in the world, as of about a year ago, Daman, Saudi Arabia, Lahore, Pakistan, Dhaka, Bangladesh, which I've been to Dhaka and it is an absolute shit when it comes to pollution. Now, the air pollution is bad, but there is rubbish, there is just, it's filthy pretty much everywhere. Everywhere that I can remember, it was filthy. There was a couple little areas where it was clean, but for the most part, filthy. Uh, quite lively here. Uh, lots of kids running around. Delhi, India is another place, and numerous other cities in India and also China. So for me, I wouldn't live in India or China. I don't care what you... And, and one of my buddies was telling me that he actually left Sri Lanka because it was so polluted. That was one of the reasons. And also Hong Kong, if you can believe that. Now, if you want to go to uh, Vietnam, there's a few places in Vietnam. You're going to have to, to look for yourself because uh, they tend to change a little bit. Hanoi, the most polluted place, uh, the most polluted city in all of Vietnam. Supposedly, Ho Chi Minh is quite good, which I don't understand that, but then again, 
I don't understand everything. Uh, Chiang Mai, also in Thailand, is one of the worst polluted places in the world. It tends to get really bad in the burning season, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. Uh, but, you know, this is how it is now. There's pollution everywhere. Noise pollution, air pollution, rubbish, filth, dog shit. <laughs> All kinds of pollution. Uh, so, you know, you're going to have to make your own assessment. You're really going to have to take a deeper look. But the places, like I said, Australia, pretty expensive. Finland, Sweden, Norway, Iceland, Estonia, Switzerland, expensive. They're not cheap places to live. Uh, but on a positive note, here's another reason Cambodia gets a, a, a big vote. Uh, you know, I mean, I have said for years, I don't think I'd want to live in Cambodia. It is a little more enticing as time passes, which I said about 10, 15 years ago. I said in about 10 years, Cambodia is going to start to close the gap with Thailand. The thing is, is they don't have as many natural resources, as many tourist attractions as Thailand does. So I don't think it'll ever be on par with Thailand, at least when it comes to tourist attractions and as a tourist destination. But uh, apparently Phnom Penh, is number 97 in the world on the ratings of least polluted uh, country cities. And it's done a remarkable turnaround and it's just getting better. So if you look at it that way, maybe Phnom Penh is a place you might want to check out. Uh, but you know, this is the thing, there is no perfect place, I always say this, there's no perfect destination, there is no uh, utopia, no paradise. When you stay long enough, you will see all the, the chinks in the armor. You will see uh, the flaws in the places. Uh, and this is, you know, Bangkok is a big city. So I, I, what really got me is I looked to see how bad was pollution 30 years ago in Bangkok. And it is just as bad or worse than it was back 30 years ago, but it was really bad 30 years ago, which, you know, I overlooked. I didn't really even think about it. Well, now I think about it because I think about my lungs. I think about my long-term health. Well, maybe it's too late now for me because I've been here uh, 25, 27 years out of the time that I've lived in Thailand. I've lived in Bangkok. So anyway, uh, it was a great question and it does factor in if I was to think about a place to go now there are other places you can go like I said Ecuador Portugal Costa Rica Belize there are many many places to go so you start looking at some of these alternatives some of these options and you just you know you got to look at what your deal breakers are and this is something I'm gonna do in the future I'm gonna make a video talking about what are my deal breakers what are my deal breakers now versus in the past because they are quite a bit different and I can tell you now if I was to think about moving to Thailand now uh, I don't know that I would in my current situation at my current age I don't know that I would move here I would probably look for a better alternative because I do believe there are other alternatives that are equally as good if not better and if pollution is something you're thinking about like if you've got a lung problem or lung problems uh, problems with your lungs, rather, uh, respiratory problems, sinus problems, allergies. I don't know that I would think that at least Bangkok is not going to be the best place for you to live. You might want to uh, figure some other place out uh, that has better uh, air quality. Although, like I said, the air quality in a lot of places now, it's hit or miss. Some days it's pretty good. Even here, even here in Bangkabi, in Bangkabi some days it's 30, 40, maybe 50, which is reasonably good. But then you get a day when it's 170 or 160 or something like that, which is, it's unhealthy. It's flat out unhealthy. When you see what comes out of the, out of the boats, the river boats, the canal boats, uh, the tuk-tuks, the buses, when you see what comes out, it's pretty disgusting and you're breathing that in and you know if you're on a motorbike and you're driving along down the road and you happen to go behind the bus guess what that bus the bus starts pulling off you're breathing in those fumes it's everywhere I do believe that they are striving for
for a uh, for a better for better air quality in, at least in Bangkok because they're using electric as opposed to uh, what they're using now gas even propane they're not they're using they, they want to use electric more than in the past and maybe that's a, a viable alternative I know that the canal boats that I've taken that use batteries are far more quiet and emit far less toxic fumes. In fact, they don't emit any fumes. Whereas if you go on a regular canal boat, it's absolutely atrocious what you see going up into the air and into the canal. So anyway, that's all I have. So until next time, I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok, choke me, they'll jerk them up.